Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. It's another day in the Premier League today as we face Leicester City at whatever the hell their name of their ground is, the Walkers Bowl, whatever the hell, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, we played one game while you were away and it was against Burnley and it ended nil-nil. Plenty of chances, just couldn't put any of them away. Uh, what that has done to the Premier League table is actually quite interesting. I'll show you, well I can't show you afterwards, um, but essentially the top seven now are all within three points of each other, uh, which is absolutely crazy. Um, Here's the game plan for today. You'll see that we're playing Tadebo and Fazio at centre-back. Um, Hummel's not looking so great and I are uh, just completely out of it. Um, couldn't completely take the captain off of the bench. So he's going to sit there in case we need him for emergencies. You may notice that Machia isn't there and that's because he's injured. Yay, great, fantastic. So we have no backup left back at the moment. Um... Almiron apparently can just about, well, it doesn't say he can fill in there, but he can play right back, so as a left footer he should be able to play left back as well in an absolute emergency. Um, but I'm more likely to switch to a, a, a free centre-back with two wing-backs uh, as I am to uh, go any other direction. So uh, that's the team for today, we'll see how we get on. Uh, you can see the Leicester lineup on the left-hand side there. Ben Chilwell is definitely a player that I've got my eyes on with regards to another left-back coming into the club. We'll see how things go in the January window. We have news regarding the January window and players that may be leaving and coming in. Juventus got back to us and have decided that if we want 20% sell-on fee, we're going to have to take less money. They've uh, offered 35 for Danny Alves. So I said, you know what, I can offer him a new contract in January, I can get him on bigger money, and then I can sell him for over 50. So unless you're willing to give us 40% of the sell-on, I'm not interested. And I've sent it back to them, and we'll see how they feel about that. But here we go, it's a lovely sunny day here at the Walkers Bowl, or King Power Stadium, whatever they're calling it these days. Leicester shooting from left to right, they are wearing their traditional blue shirts, white shorts and blue socks. We are in our dashing tangerine away kit. Played inside to Nkunku. Knocks it across to Shelby. Forward ball into Werner. Dispossessed. Leicester have control of the ball in the centre of the pitch. Out left to Damarai Gray. Played inside to Depreit. Good tackle. Can't keep hold of the ball though. And Leicester have a chance here from the wide left. Gray is absolutely cutting us into pieces. Headed out but not far enough. And now, finally, Newcastle can get the ball under control and try to pass their way into an attacking predicament. Here's Ribéry. Held back a little bit by the defender there. A little bit robust. Now Leicester knocking it around for fun. They're a good side, Leicester. Inside to Shelby. Ah, oh, unlucky. Crossed in, the goalkeeper catches it with ease. Shelby may be running a little bit too fast with the ball there, hence why the through ball is a little bit on the heavy side. Timo Werner really being asked to do an awful lot with that. And in the end, he couldn't quite manage it. It's understandable. That's a foul. Free kick given to Newcastle. Edge of the area. This could be a goal scoring opportunity. There's a couple of very good free kick takers in the side. 
including John Joe Shelby. Although this is a little bit too far out to be having a go. I thought that the foul was given for an infraction nearer the penalty area, but apparently it's been pulled all the way back for this. Back out to the left. Looped in. That's a, no. That's never going to work. <laughs> never going to work. He had his back turned to goal. It was going to be difficult for him to dig the ball out. Now Leicester down this left wing. Looking to make inroads into the Newcastle defence. They can't quite manage it. But they do win a throw. Henrik's making a pest of himself. It seems like the Leicester players are all just managing to hang on to the ball somehow. Every time we win it, they're the ones that are up a little bit quicker than us. They're getting rid of the ball just before we're able to put a tackle in. Except for there, where Willems wins it pretty expertly. Shelby moves it out to the right-hand side. Here's Henricks. Inside to Maximan. Stretches his legs a little bit. Plays it out to Henricks. Henricks has got a chance to put a cross in here. He gets it in. Can't quite connect with the header, unfortunately. It was a good opportunity. Now Leicester again in the middle of the park. Spreading it out wide to the right. Looking to make something of this moment of possession. Ball played through. This could be a chance. Oh, he's given a penalty away. Can't really argue. Gray's been a pain in the arse. He did, however, move the ball in the opposite direction and then carried on his run straight forward. I think that might be what Henriks is complaining about. And it's an easy goal in the end. A very nicely dispatched penalty. And Pratt, Pratt by name, Pratt by nature, has put Leicester 1-0 ahead. And could Leicester be looking at all three points today? I don't know what that was, but it wasn't what I wanted. Long ball forward by Leicester. One in the air. Rebury's been a little bit anonymous today. He can be a lot better than this. We've seen as much. They're doubling up on Maximan. Knowing perhaps that Ribéry not being at it. He doesn't need so much attention spent on him. So they're devoting a little bit more time. Here's a header. Couldn't win it. And at half-time, it is 1-0 to Leicester City. Newcastle, for the first time this season, looking like they could end up losing. Been a very even first half. Newcastle really peppering those crosses in there. Unable to make anything stick, though. Here we go with the second half. Ah, it's just a bit too heavy. Oh, but that's not. That's fantastic. 
Maximan. Werner knew that his chance to score was gone, but he knew that if he kept it in play, there was still a chance. And his back heel found Maximan, who hit it first time. A placed finish into the left-hand side of the net. And it's one all. Game on. Maximan can use his pace. Is that not a foul referee? Apparently not. Nothing different between that and the penalty incident, except for the fact that that didn't happen in the penalty area. of this game appears to have turned on its head a little bit in fact it's turned completely on its head Maximan with a second and the combination of Werner and Maximan coming good again and it's an almost carbon copy finish from the first one and now Maximan the mercurial Frenchman is sitting on a hat-trick Ribery really not doing much of anything today. Can't be too long before he fears that he might get the hook. Just nothing coming off for him today. He's a good player. This isn't a case of me being like, oh dear, I don't think he's going to make the grade because I genuinely have seen flashes. I mean, like that pass, for example. Ah, it's just not controlled well enough. But it was a fantastic pass. He's got the ability, we know he's got the ability, he's a regen of a fantastically pl uh, cultured player. Oof, and that could and probably should have been two all. Snatched at it a little bit. And I'm not unhappy about that at all. Almiron coming on for the out of sorts. Frank Ribery. He'll get another chance. He's applauding the fans as he leaves the pitch. He knows that it was probably the right call. And he's still relatively young. He will improve. He'll get a lot better. Oh, I just about made it. Werner, 3-0. 3 0 3 3 0 3 one <laughs> And that worked out very, very nicely indeed. It was a little bit last gasp. A little bit on the edge. Willems just about, is it Willems there? Yeah, just about managing to get to the ball before the defender. And playing it slightly behind Werner as well, but such is the quality of Werner that he was able to wrap his foot around the ball, send it into the net. And it's the third shot that has beaten the goalkeeper on his right-hand side. Perhaps something of a weakness for this particular keeper. And suddenly it's all looking much, much more comfortable for Newcastle. Oh, that's a great save. Fantastic shot. It needed saving. Tillman's unlucky not to get on the score sheet with that effort. And it was from some way out as well.
That's not the best pass. And a foul is given for nothing more than a, a bit of a coming together of minds. Werner's away here. Ah, oh, he's completely outnumbered. He never had a chance. And how is that a foul? The referee is seeing things that I'm not seeing. Perhaps we'll see something in the replay. Iosi Perez picking the ball up. It's a tap on the ankle. Not even enough to make him fall over. And yet the referee gives a foul. Shocking officiating. And I can say that without the risk of sounding like it's sour grapes. Because we're 3-1 up. Shelby, Henricks. Just going to make the last changes of the game here. Free one up. We can afford to give people a little bit of game time. Ah, he's doing a good job of holding his men off here, Maximan. Eventually he miscontrols it slightly, it goes out of play and the two changes can be made. Juan Fran and Joel Linton coming on for Werner and Henriks. And Juan Fran immediately called into service on this right hand side. And he reads that play very well indeed. Shows a little bit of collectedness. Lob through ball. Joel Linton looking to get onto it. Not quite able to. And the referee has given a free kick. And amazingly, it's because... Joel Linton was kicked and he's quite rightly saying what is wrong with your eyes referee there's nothing wrong with that challenge at all it's two honest players going for it Shelby fantastic pass That's a nice one too. Gives it back again. He's not going to get to it in time, unfortunately. The pass was a little bit in between two players there. And in the end, it was Leicester that benefited from it. Maximan, that's a thankless task. The ball's played long. And that is it. Final whistle. Leicester City 1, Newcastle United 3. Two goals from St. Maximan and then Timo Werner with the third. A lovely shaped effort with his left foot when it looked like the ball was possibly slightly too far behind him to make anything of it. Perfect stats for Newcastle there. Five shots, five on target. Everything they needed to do, they did do. Tadebo only getting a 4.5 on today's ratings. I've learned not to pay much attention. Maximan and Werner both gaining 7.5s. Maximan getting the man in the match purely down to the fact that he scored twice as many goals, I imagine. But it was a good match. Good, fun, entertaining. Well, I hope that it was fun and entertaining anyway. Now, interesting, looking at the games here, you can see Tottenham and Manchester City in a top of the table clash. City actually coming out the winners in that, so Tottenham will have will let go of their top spot in the table. Arsenal also winning 1-0, and obviously we won 3-1 today. Looking at the second sheet here, we can see Manchester United 4-1 winners over Huddersfield and Liverpool winning 1-0 at Swansea. So what does that do for the table? Well, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur, and then Newcastle and Arsenal behind them. 
it's all got a little bit cramped, hasn't it? First through fifth, one win between them. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me today. Tomorrow, it looks like we're going to be playing the Champions League match against Rangers at St. James's Park. But until then, as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and others. Bye-bye.